Alright, I'm really tired, so I'm gonna get some liquid sleep. <laughs> Alright guys, so right here we got breakfast, it was pretty good, six bananas here, not super huge bananas, so it's only about 600 calories. And then we got some cranberry juice. On top of the cranberry juice we also got this beet juice which has carrots and orange in it. I got that from Whole Foods. And then we got this cane sugar here, now I didn't have enough ripe bananas so I had to substitute with some cane sugar. We've got about 100 grams of sugar right there, that's what about 100 grams of sugar looks like. And people might be watching this thinking, Michael, why are you putting regular sugar in your food? Like, that's what companies do, it'll make you sick. And it's just not true. Uh, sugar, you know, is a the main source of fuel for our body, so there's nothing wrong with it. Just if you can, get ripe fruits and vegetables. But if you can't get enough calories from that, then you're going to have to find them from somewhere else, and sugar is one of the best places you can find it. Today is not going to be too interesting. It's not going to be a fun-filled day, not really. Uh, I got yoga right now, and then I'm going to go home, take a shower, and do a bunch of work at home. It's super rainy, so I can't go out and film much. Um, it's like storming everywhere. Here I'm making my lunch and dinner. I started this uh, while I'm eating breakfast still. It's a 13 bean soup. Uh, I got it from Whole Foods. It was like pre-packaged beans in like the bulk containers. Turned out really nice, but you want to bring them to a boil in some water and then simmer them for a couple minutes and then let them soak in that water for about an hour. Then I just diced up some shiitake mushrooms and threw it in there uh, while they were uh, after they had soaked and while they were cooking, shiitake mushrooms give a nice meaty flavor, kind of like beef. Um, you will make, want to make sure to take the stems off though because the stems are really really chewy and they taste kind of like if you were eating wood, so take the stems off and just use the caps. And then I just diced up some other things to throw in here, um, you know, anything, you, any kind of vegetables you can find really. I used bok choy, uh, yellow onion, green onion, um, some bell pepper, some carrots, anything you can find really just to throw in there to make it like a vegetable soup. And it'll turn out really, really nice, and that's what I did. It takes about three to four hours to cook, so you really want to start it early in the day. So even though it took a really long time to cook, this turned out really, really nice, and I ate this for pretty much the rest of the day. I had it for lunch, um, and then an early dinner, and then a late dinner, because I had so much work to do. So it's really delicious. Give it a shot. Super, super easy to make. Just take some time.